some surprising outcomes from night number two in the NBA and some outstanding individual efforts. Let's count them down 10 through 1. We begin out west where Jamal Crawford was on the floor for 30 minutes, but oh boy, did he take advantage. 29 points, he was efficient, breaking ankles and breaking the hearts of Grizzly fans. Big for the win. At play number nine, we go to Motown, where Houston came out with the victory, but not before Jonas Jarebko goes no look behind the back to Kyle Singler. Welcome back to America, Kyle. Speaking of Kyle, he's at number eight. It's Kyle Lowry, the lob up top to DeMar DeRozan. DeRozan climbing the ladder, completing the north of the border alley-oop. Back to Houston and Detroit, Jeremy Lin drops it on a dime for a cutting James Harden. Great debut for the new Houston backcourt. Harden drops 37 into victory. At play number six, Andre Iguodala not feeling the love from his former fans, but early on, throwing it right in their face. A steal turns it into offense. Got off to a hot start, but Iguodala limited to just 11 points, and the Sixers beat the Nuggets. At play number five, Blake Griffin fights for the rebound, and he's got a whole bunch of energy going coast to coast, splitting the defense. No way is he dishing it on the break. Blake keeps it himself, gets the one-handed throwdown. At play number four, Golden State and Phoenix. Brandon Rush cutting to the bucket and exploding to the tin. Play number three, we go back to New Orleans and San Antonio, a game you had to watch. And this is why. Everybody had their eye on Anthony Davis and Tim Duncan, but Al Farouk Aminu provided the highlights. More from him in a moment. Back out to the Clippers. DeAndre Jordan, another big fella running the floor. The steal and turns it into a pair. DeAndre getting angry at the rim. And our top play comes from New Orleans. Al Farouk Aminu, the SWAT, and then the Hornets are buzzing. Give it back to the man who started it. Aminu soars to the cup for the deuce. Aminu had three blocks in the game, 17 points, but it was the Spurs that won. And that's your top 10 from night two.